3.25 left to play as the ball's going to be kicked away and gotten out of there by Nipper. It bounces up across the 35 to 40. Takes a good hop for Churchill across the uh, 43 and out of bounds at about the 44-yard line. A 31-yard punt, no return. And a flag on the play down back at the 17-yard line. It's against Churchill. From the 44, Temple taking over for the 11th time in the ball game. And this time they are taking over in the territory of San Antonio Churchill. The first time in the entire ball game, if they could say that. The hand off his uh, flag drops. He's given to uh, Glenn uh, Molat, who is running in there now at a halfback position in place of Charles Young. But we've got a flag on the play. Molet getting about a yard, and offside is indicated against Churchill. With that forward wall, Jerry Turnbull handles the defensive secondary, and George Crawford, the linebacker for the Churchill Chargers. Now Young is back in the ball game, and Molet comes out as they move the clock to the left side. Back to throw, looking as Harmon. He's going deep. Got one on one situation. It is incomplete, broken up in the goal line as the pass was intended for Jeff Davis, the split receiver, Joby Sawyer, stayed with him. Shut it looked like Davis had it at the last minute. Joby Sawyer able to get a hand up and deflect it away. Second down and five from the 39-yard line. And Harmon in trouble as he's rolled in at the line of scrimmage. May have fumbled, and he did, and the Chargers recover. A turnover against Temple, the third one of the ball game, the first on a fumble, gives them uh, the football at the 41-yard line, and straight ahead they go to Dave Dar. He gets a couple, banging from the 41 out to about the 43 and runs into Robinson at that point. 38 seconds remaining to play in the third period. A crowd estimated at 26,000. This time it is Ellie again as he tries to find a little bit of a hole on the right side, finds the 45 and across the 46 with Dolan Stevens making the stop there. In the interest of conservation, Diamond Jamrock recommends proper car care for Third down and five, and offside against the Chargers as the left side jumped on the snap. They finally got the snap away, and contact had already been made. Brian Phillips is the man that was a little bit over anxious. Carl Robinson making the stop on the play. However, the play did not get the first down. It is short of the first down by about two yards. So now you still need the football, trailing by uh, 10 points. Will they decline the penalty? Temple very well might do that. They look to the sideline for a little counsel and guidance from head coach Bob McQueen. Fourth down and two, they will punt. Davis and Cavill are back, nipper to kick. Good snap, no rush. The wall going to be set up in the near sideline. The kick away and feeling it at the nine-yard line, trying to come back out with it is Cavill. Gives ground to the 10, to the 13, could never get to the wall. He's run out of bounds to the 15-yard line. He just could not reach that wall because Buzzy Nelson, the center, was down there, but we've got a clip downfield at around the eight-yard line, and that, of course, will be against the receiving team against Temple. Starting from the five, Harmon handing off straight ahead to Anthony Johnson, and he dives for about three, maybe four, right over the middle. In this kind of field position, it's very difficult to gamble and open your game up, of course, with 60 seconds left in the third quarter. The game is out to about the eight-yard line, given three on the play. Is Young, and the handoff is straight ahead to Carl Robinson. Fights to the 10, 11, maybe the 12. He's going to be short of the first down by about three. And for the Wildcats, third down coming again as the tackle was made by Tommy Randall and also the ever-present Jimmy Cross. Of Temple, a handoff to the big fullback and rambling for the first down is Robinson as he breaks the 15 to the 17-yard line and is hit and hit hard, taken up just a little bit by Dave Dar on the tackle at the 17, but that is sufficient for the first down as the chain moves, the clock grinding away, three seconds remaining to play, one second, and there it is, the end of the third quarter of play with a score at the end of three periods, San Antonio Winston Churchill 10 and the Temple Wildcats nothing. Get ready for the freewheeling sports. Super trick board machines trucking through the night. The feeling is freewheeling. The feeling is dynamite. You can get options like panel interior, special paint, trick wheels, and more from your Ford dealer. My free is TNT. KBUC, AM and FM in San Antonio, home of the Churchill Chargers. Going downfield by Harmon to Lester Ward, completed on a diving grab at the 35-yard line. A pickup of 18 fast yards on the first play of the fourth period. 
as the Wildcats with the wind at their back, trailing by 10, must be from the 35-yard line, first down and 10 for the blue and white. Wing back goes right, split left end, and the handoff straight ahead to Robinson, tries to slant off of the right side, but it's closed up in a hurly hurry by Buzzy Nelson. And it winds up as a gain of yard, maybe two, out to the 37-yard line. Second down, seven and a half yards for the first down for the blue and white. 11 minutes and 10 seconds remaining in this football season for Class 4A. Of the season, quick pitch to the outside, fumbled in the backfield, still loose and finally fallen on at the 25-yard line by Carl by uh, uh, Charlie Young. He had a little problem with that football and tried to field it as uh, normally you would and finally decided the best thing I can do is just avoid turning it over completely and Rocky Gonzalez was right there to battle him for it. And on the reverse, it winds up in the hands of Harmon. He throws the fly pattern deep. Look out for the interception. It is picked off by Churchill at the 38-yard line, Joby Sawyer. And he makes the uh, interception there as the ball intended for Charles Young. And Joby came down over that football underneath his tummy, I think, and he may have lost a little bit of wind. And as we do, it's first down and 10 for the Churchill Chargers. As the ball winds up to Jimmy Brooks on the reverse, he's to the 40, 42, 43-yard line. Kyle Robinson and Will Jackson making the stop at that point. Now it's second down and about six. As the Chargers in front, 10 to nothing. 9.50 left to play. And Nippert handing off to Ellie. Ellie trying the left side. Nothing there. Kenneth Jones slams the door in his face along with Will Jackson. At the 44-yard line, about a yard gain. Warren Ellie's carried that ball 14 times for 35 yards. That's not quite up to what he had last week when uh, he picked up 102 yards. And uh, the ball is intercepted by Robinson back to the 40, the 35, the 30, breaks the tackle to the 25 and down to the 23-yard line. Well, you talk about it, and there it is. And Robinson, Carl Robinson with a great return. Went after that quick look in pass to the big tight end, and he was right there to pluck it off. And uh, with that running ability that he has at fullback with the power and shiftiness, the sophomore returning the football to the 23-yard line. The blue and white over the football. Flanker right, split left in. Back to throw. Harmon looks, breaks the tackle, hit and lost on the play back to the 27-yard line. A loss of about four. It was Rick Nelson, the inside linebacker. Second down about 14. Straight back to throw goes Nipper, and he is hit and filled back at the 39-yard line by Doug Brown. Looked like they were trying to set up the screen, and Kyle Harmon just could not find it. As it winds up, it's the loss in the play of 11 back to the 38-yard line. And where the ball a moment ago was first and 10 from the 23, it is now third down from the 38-yard line. As the blue and white of Temple comes over the football, back to throw is Harmon. Straight back, fires to side. It is incomplete at the 15-yard line, intended for Anthony Johnson, but tremendous timing by little Joby Sawyer. And he has gotten a cramp in his uh, right leg, and one of his teammates quickly performing the duties of the doctor knows exactly how to get that out by twisting those toes back. Two to the kick. Not a big rush, the return is on. The kick is going to be short, so the far sideline bounces at the 12, across the 10 to the 5, down 2 and into the end zone. 38-yard punt, and will be brought back out to the 20-yard line in the touchdown. For some reason, the Wildcats refused to move in and down that football. First and ten, the Chargers. And it's Brooks on a sweep to the left side as he turns it upfield, breaks the tackle at the 22, fights out to the 25 yards. Taking up five tough yards, made so by Dave Holloway and by Todd Stevens. Second down and five, the ball 18 in from the far sideline, the clock is ticking. Seven minutes left in the season. And straight ahead, handoff to Ellie for two, off to the 27 yard line. Bringing up a third and three, Will Jackson making the stop. And once again, it has brightened up at halftime, but once again getting very heavy overcast. Pitch to Brooks, tries the left side, has the first down at the 35, and dances out to the 37, 38-yard line. A gain in the play of six yards, Jeff Davis making the stop. That's the 13th first down of the afternoon for the San Antonio Churchill Chargers, the Temple Wildcats at five. Fourth time in 12 fives, but they've done it on third down. Tip for the quarterback. Gives to Brooks, he stumbles as he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage. Lester Ward dropping on top of him quickly. Charles Caffrey, many, many others. Second down and nine. And there's a the ball this time given straight ahead to Dave Dar, and he dances across the 37 to 38 yard line. Holloway and Ward making the stop there. A gain of four. But more importantly, the clock is now down to five minutes remaining. 
Third down, about seven, and on the reverse, the handoff to Dar. He cuts into the middle and goes nowhere. Lester Ward gets the shot at him, and also Dave Holloway. As they put it down at the 39-yard line, it's a one-yard game, and again, it is punt time for Churchill Chargers. Nipper to punch. Good snap. Good rush. Kicks out of there. And it hangs up in that light breeze. Comes down across the 40, down to the 35, rolling on downfield to the 31-yard line. It will be down there. 30-yard punt, no return. First down and 10 for Temple, and this is the time they've got to move the football. There is just no more time left. They're inside the four-minute mark, trailing by 10. They've got to open the game up, and you can certainly rest assured that San Antonio Chargers recognize that fact. First and 10 for Temple. Wildcat quarterback Kyle Harmon back to throw in that pocket, runs out of the pocket. He's hit and dropped at the 30-yard line. A loss in the play of a yard as Doug Brown came looping in behind and made the hit on the play. Up to the line they come with a second and 11. Three minutes and 20 seconds left in the season. Harmon to throw, flings it up the middle of the fullback. Robinson grabs it at the 35, is hit at the 36 and drops at the 37 yard line. A seven yard pickup short of the first down by three and a half. Brett Martin on the stop. And hand signals out to Kyle Harmon, the quarterback, and he's returning them to the sideline with the play call. Trying to get it all squared away, using a lot of time. Third down, three and a half. A handoff to the fullback on the belly series, and he pounds short of the first down. He is right to the 39 and a half. Tom Randall with a stop there. As Robinson is short by a yard. He picked up two and a half. They needed three and a half. Timeout. With 2.25 left to play in this ball game, a timeout in the field. San Antonio Winston Churchill 10. The Temple Wildcats nothing. You can trust your car to the man who wears the star. He's the man best qualified to take care of your car at every Texaco station. Clean across the nation. You can trust your car to the man who wears the star. The big, bright Texaco star. It's fourth down a yard and a half for Temple as they go for it. Fake to the fullback. Back to throw. Running out of the pocket is Harmon. He's in trouble and he is going to be hit behind the line by Tom Randall and San Antonio Churchill will take over at that point from the 37 yard line. The fourth down effort and Kyle Harmon had to move it a yard and a half and instead winds up with a loss of a couple. The handoff is straight ahead to Ellie. He drives to the 35 and gets the clock to ticking. A gain of about three. So it's first and ten for Churchill. Two minutes and four seconds left in the ball game. The most postseason appearances have been by Wichita Falls, 29, Dallas Highland Park, and Amarillo have been in the playoffs 23 times, and Temple has been present, uh, this is their 18th appearance, they ran almost equal this also. Second down, 10 yards to go from the 19-yard line. The Chargers over the football, and it's Brooks sweeping the left side across the 20, dances to the 15, and is cut down at the 13-yard line by Kenneth Jones. Okay, we've got illegal block indicated against Churchill Chargers, and that'll move the ball back off to the 37-yard line. Third time they've been penalized, 35 yards all told in the game. But uh, they don't really care a lot about that as far as the penalty is concerned. As the snap and the handoff is given to Dave Darr, and Darr's met at the line of scrimmage by Cavill and Ward. The referee bill began. The Temple's going to stop the clock with 54 seconds left and hope for a miracle as they trail by a score of 10 to nothing. Folks. As we return to play, Brooks trying to sweep the left side, takes the handoff to the 35, down to about the 33-yard line, gaining uh, about four yards, maybe five, as Todd Stevens makes the stop. But the important thing is it's got the clock grinding once again, and we're inside the 42nd mark, 37, 36, 35, and ticking down toward a state championship for San Antonio Winston Churchill High School. The school's first. And the first in Class 4A for Jerry Comalander. Running his two-year record out to 24 wins and one loss in San Antonio Lee, which defeated him 14 to nothing back in 1975, the only team that has marred that. Dave Dar goes over to the sideline and uh, wraps his arms around his coach. We're going to have a delay of game charged against San Antonio Churchill. Wildcats will take over at the 35 under very dark, heavy, overcast skies here in Austin. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. KDUC, AM and FM in San Antonio, home of the Churchill Chargers.
Kyle Harmon going back to throw on it, comes to the sideline on a flare pass that is incomplete over the head of Glenn Molet. Three seconds left as it fell incomplete. Young is back in, replacing Molet. Quarterback Kyle Harmon under, back to throw, set, fires, going deep, it is overthrown. Intended for Anthony Jordan as the ball game ends and new champions of Class 4A football in the state of Texas have been crowned here at Memorial Stadium this afternoon. Replacing Port Natchez Groves as Class 4A champions, the Chargers of Winston Churchill High School of San Antonio, 10, and the Temple Wildcats, nothing. We'll have a recap of the game in just one minute. Diamond Shamrock reminds you that wise driving habits can help you get better gasoline mileage. As loyal bud drinkers, we have over the years consumed 88,008 cans of the King of Beers. So when Old Style said it was better brewed than bud, we were skeptical. Liars, I said. But we've tried Old Style and found we had made 88,008 mistakes. We're now trying to make up for that. How are we doing, Curtis? That's 10 so far. Well... Only 87,998 more to go. Heilemann's Old Style, America's best brewed premium beer. 